Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. This is version 44.01. This version came out yesterday as I'm recording this. I'm recording this at, at Thanksgiving, uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving, although it's definitely past Thanksgiving when you're watching this. Um, and I am super excited about playing this game with you today. Uh, this is our third Dwarf Fortress series. Dwarf Fortress, if you don't know, if you haven't watched those series, it's an amazing, amazing game. It is my favorite game of all time. Um, it inspired me to become a computer programmer, um, which is what I do for a living. And uh, it's an amazing game. And I'm going to set everything. I'm going to set a small world, everything on medium, sparse mineral occurrence. I'm going to hit go. And uh, so this game, I'm going to let it, it's going to do 250 years of history creation, which uh, is something that Dwarf Fortress does. Every time you create a new game, it creates a new world and generates that world's history uh, based on uh, the parameters that, that we just set. Um, and once we do that, we are going to embark. Now, usually I do a custom embark, although this time I'm just going to do the traditional out-of-the-box embark where it just gives you like a couple of copper picks and stuff like that and an anvil and just some basic starter gear. I'm not going to specifically request, you know, um, be this time, the first two Dwarf Fortress series that we did on this channel were kind of very um, special situation ones. The very first one was an island that we didn't allow migrants on uh, that had an aquifer. Uh, the second one was an evil embark on an, on a, an ice biome. Um, which was very harsh and unforgiving. Um, and both of those kind of required um, some tweaking of the Embark just to kind of make sure the game wasn't going to be too, too difficult based on the parameters that we had set for ourselves. This time, uh, because I want to, I really want to show and experience everything that this game has to offer, especially in the last few releases, um, and this release in particular, we're just going to do a very basic uh, Embark in a you know, pretty normal um, biome that has, you know, that's not missing anything important. That's not going to be super challenging, but also isn't going to be super easy for us either. Um, and this particular release is really cool. It adds a bunch of stuff. Most significantly, in my opinion, is the new ability to send dwarves off of your fortress and into the world to do missions like... Um, like finding artifacts and bringing them back. Uh, this is the first time you'll, you are able, once you start Fortress Mode, to be able to see the world at large other than your fort. And that's pretty huge and really cool, and I'm super excited about it. Okay, our world has been created. Looks fine to me. The continents of Whipping, the Hill of Wisps. That might just be where we're looking at right now. Yeah, it is. Although this is all... Oh, that's the Noble Sea. Yeah, so... The Planet of Dawns in the top left corner. That is the name of this planet, of this world. And we are going to accept it. And this is going to take a little bit of time as well. Usually I skip through this, but I kind of wanted to just talk through it this time. Um, so other than that, what else does this version add? Um, it adds... Let me put up this devlog here. Yeah, the ability to send out squads to raid sites, rescue prisoners, recover artifacts. It adds a couple of things in-game, like display cases and pedestals. Um, they Artifacts are now... Artifacts used to be something that you only created during Fortress Mode. Now, during the history generation of this game, it actually generates artifacts historical artifacts, which is really cool. Okay, we are going to... Thadar Thran is the name of our uh, region. We are going to start in Dwarf Fortress mode. And we're going to find a good embarkation site. Uh, two weeks pass every time you start a new game. Okay, so here we are. So let's try to find a place that has all the things we want. We're going to do... Um, and every time I play this game... If you've never seen this before, the user interface of Dwarf Fortress is notoriously complicated or not not intuitive, I should say. And even even though I love this game, every time I play, I kind of have to refamiliarize myself with which which keys do what. Uh, not for everything, but all right, F is find desired location. We are going to. I think we're going to do more than four by four. Let's go six by six. Um, we don't care about, I'm not going to specifically look for any particular savagery, evil, or elevation. Um, but I am going to say no aquifer. Uh, river would be good, but I think more important than that, we want to make sure we have flux stone. 
Drainage, is that new? I don't know if you could always look for drainage. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to want, oh. I don't know if these used to be all options either. That's interesting. At least some soil. Um, I don't care about clay. We definitely want, um, let's see if we can find something with all these things. And you know, if we can find something with river too, that would be great. We'll see what's we'll see what's out there. We'll do a search. Oh, is that the soil is less than or equal to some? Do we want it? I think we want it greater than or equal to some. Hold on. Is that how that works? Greater than or equal to deep. Let's try that. Let's see if that expands the number of sites that it fi finds. Less than or equal to deep. Yeah, I think some of those options are actually new, at least new since I've checked this out. Okay, so it definitely found a bunch of sites. Let's browse the results here. Um, you can see my my yellow cursor is on the middle map there, the region map. Uh, I, there is a cursor on the uh, the upper map too, or the, the world map to the right. A uh, bunch of sites here. So let's see, clay, some soil, shallow metals, deep metals, woodland, warm. It is always fun to do multi-biome embarks, uh, and there are a couple of biomes here. Yeah. Let's see. Um, if we could do something a little fun, let's go down here to the south. Ooh, what are all these? So this is closer to some goblins here. You see the purple, um, this is a goblin fort here, uh, Strodnasuksum. <laughs> Uh, and up here, the yellow and green, you know what, I can't even remember what all these mean. Um, but I think these might be some human or elven encampments. Encampments. Uh, but if we're down here, trees none, though. We do want trees. Heavily forested. Some soil deep metals flux stone. Uh, there are a couple of biomes here, but they're both, oh, there are three biomes here. Oh, one is temperate. And just woodland. Thick vegetation, moderate vegetation. The surroundings are wild. Uh, there is a stream. We have shallow metal, soil, fluxstone, deep metals. That might be fun. Let's look over here briefly at the mountains. So this one has mountains and woodland. Um, which is... Might be interesting. Oh, what is this? One of these is a, um, I don't know what the, uh, oh yeah, so you can see on the map there, on the local map on the left, there is some kind of civilization there. And I think I can move the local area here, and I don't think you can, I think this version lets, might let you um, get close to that stuff. Uh, UMKH. Like, is that weird? The crack tail, the tooth of combat. This is all the cracked hill here. Yeah, I don't know if we want to be on that settlement. Munest Um, That might be a little much. I... Let's see. What is this one over here? Scarce trees. What up here? I'm just kind of browsing around here. Scorching temperature, but the trees are woodland. Untamed wilds. Hmm, we got all the things, no aquifers. Oh, here's a, oh, here it's a brook and here's a river. There's an aquifer here though, we don't want that. Oh, I was not looking at the right site. Okay, um, scorching. I don't know if we want to do, I mean, scorching temperature might be fine. There's so many options. And up here too, we have like roads. Uh, like more, and um, yeah, I assume this is like farmland, like human farmland. Let's kind of stray away from there. Uh, what about this yellow one? This is, oh, there are four biomes here. Hmm. Um, it's all scorching temperature. You know what? I think... I mean, I don't want to build everything out of wood, but it is nice to have wood. Um, rocky wasteland. Trees are scarce, but there are 
trees. It has Flexstone. This is only one biome, too. The Mortified Dunes. And up here, there are no trees. Hmm. Two biomes here. Some with scarce trees, some with no trees. It's all the wa rocky wasteland. That sounds kind of interesting, but it might actually be not interesting at all. I want somewhere... This is just a stream. I would like somewhere with maybe more of a... More of a full river. You know what? It's... I think it's fine. I think we're just going to go here to the combination of the Forest of Entrances and the Cracked Hill. Yeah, and that's going to give us everything we need. It's going to be cool. So let's uh, let's take a look around locally here. Um, I want to look at... If I... Uh, whoops. Ugh, what did I do? No, no. Exit. What did I do? Okay. I marked... What did I do? I, what did I hit that I marked that stuff um we are going to so three biomes in this we well, want the river how do i get rid of that stupid thing i put on there i don't even know what button i hit um let's try to get in the middle of this river here so we have two biomes here but they're both forests of entrances and i want the other one i think i want the biome so the Cracked Hill, the Cracked Hill is only in the very bottom right of this one. What if I go up here? The Hill of Ruling and the Forest of Entrances. So some soil, deep metals, no shallow metals. Still, I like having two biomes. And I think we might be fine with some soil, deep metals, and flexstone. No shallow metals. I think that'll be okay. It means we'll have to dig deeply. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to embark. E. Yes, we've selected a large area. We're going to play now. We're not going to prepare carefully. And this does take a little bit of time after I hit enter. It looks like it's doing nothing, but it is. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm hoping that this Dwarf Fortress game lasts much longer than both of our other Dwarf Fortress series. Um, we, I don't even think in either of the ones we never really experienced the tavern mechanic, which was new a couple of versions ago, um, but was present ever since I started this Let's Play channel. Uh, and yeah, we're, there's so much about this game that I want to, that I want to experience with you all, so... All right, come on. There we go. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Nefastigil. 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 That's, yeah, there we go. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings, ere the cougars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place, Thobdoran. Girder diamonds. Girder diamonds. Throb, Thobdoran. Strike the earth. All right. Okay, uh, let's pause it briefly and get a sense of our surroundings. So we, ooh. Okay, so we have this lovely river, or uh, I guess it's a stream, did it say, or a brook? I think it's a stream. We have this lovely stream. Wow, and it is very um, zigzaggy. Uh, that is cool. We, it looks like we are pretty much surrounded by, we're kind of in a valley here. It looks like uh, we have hills to the right and to the east and to the west and possibly also to the south. Uh, mostly to the east and west. It looks like we're in a river valley, which is cool. Uh, a very a heavily forested river valley. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. And on the on the uh, uh, to the west here, the valley is not quite as deep. A lot of trees, uh, but it looks lovely. It just looks lovely. What kind of um, soil is this or rock? or This is red sand. Interesting. 
Interesting. Surrounded by red sand. Is this white sand? No, limestone. Limestone and red sand walls. Um, cool. So now we need to decide, are, do we want to dig down? Do we want to dig into um, the hills anywhere? Um, that might be nice. We could just dig into the Western Valley. There's a bunch of room over here. Uh, in fact, right here, it, you have the uh, a hill that we can have our base um, like layer on, like our entrance on. It won't be able to go any further up without reaching the surface, but it will be right by uh, the stream. And I kind of like that. I think we might do that. Uh, I'd like the entrance by the stream. I think that would be nice. Are there any other places? Let me just follow the stream and see if there's anywhere better we might want. Uh, there's this one. There's just not as much room on the eastern bank to dig into the hill. Um, maybe to the north. Yeah, no, I think where we had looked right here. I think that's where we're going to do. So I, what side of the, okay, we are already on the western side of the river. Um, we could also dig in, no, I think right here. I think we're going to have, we're going to dig in an entrance. Um, I kind of forgot how to, cap blocks? No, I forgot how to move quickly. There, no. There we go. I had num lock on. That was the problem. I couldn't do the shift and uh, shift and number pad to move quickly. Okay, so let's dig into the sand here. And it is nice that we ha we seem to have a lot of sand. We can definitely do some, um, make some crafts with that, make some glass stuff. Um, I think we'll dig out all this sand here, and because this area will be a little flat, we'll dig in a three by three, um, or not three by three, but a three long, let me try to, one, two, yeah, let me get it actually starting here. Uh, I like how that lines up with the, uh, the edge of the river here. And it's kind of in the middle of this flat part of the hill. So that'll come in a bit. Uh, and we'll dig into that, and caravans should be able to bring wagons through a uh, an area that's three tall. And from there, um, we should we should immediately build a stockpile area, but maybe even further back. How far back does this go? This will go back pretty far. I don't know if we want to go all that way back at first. Let's start with this. Um, we'll want like a trading post area, I think, in here. I mean, we could do that outside as well, and maybe that's a good idea. Um, but just in case we do decide to have this, the trading post area within the hill, I'm going to put our first stockpile um, kind of back further. Um, and where are we going to put an end, like a stairs down also? I think we can decide that later. We're not going to have stairs up right here. Let's let's put a little stockpile room here. Right here, I think should be fine. One, two, three, four. Hold on, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. No, no, no. Hold on. Ah. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a large stockpile room, I think, to start. Like that big. No, not that big. Um, that big. Yeah, I like that. It's big enough. Um, do we want to make this bigger? I think this is fine. Okay, uh, so they'll dig that out, and once they do that, we will... Um, now not everyone's doing that. I'll need to set like jobs and stuff like that. It has been it has been a good while since I actually st uh, played this game. Uh, let's take a look at our dwarves, our initial dwarves here. We have a miner, two, a woodworker, woodcutter, stoneworker, jeweler, fish cleaner, expedition leader. This is the standard out of the box, like don't prepare. This is just what they give you. Um, we have one person digging, but I think we start with two picks. So let me designate someone else. Um, 
And let me try to remember how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we can just go from dwarf to dwarf. Go to unit. Um, labor. What have you digging? No, that is not what I meant. Man, okay. Unit list. Go to unit. Boy. Uh, I know that, uh, how do you turn on and off all the, like, the jobs for people? That's what I'm not remembering. That's the, this, the game, I played this game so much, and yet I cannot remember how to do that. Um, let me, let me take a look at the dwarf view. Uh, come on, Graham. How do you play Dwarf Fortress? You can do this. Uh, there are definitely some new things on the map. If I hit C, this is very new. This is being able to see the world here is pretty awesome. This is very cool. Where's our, how come it doesn't show our fort on here? Uh, y is center on fort. Okay, so our fort's right here. The Dwarven Fortress of Girder Diamonds, your location, your government, the labors of scarring, Civilization, the strapping galley. That's cool. And then W is world. That's not... Oh, um... And there are no missions or anything like that. So it's cool. Um, v... You're digging. Uh, is it P? L? Yes! Okay. Proficiency and then, or profession and then, right, so you're the miner. Um, isn't there a way I can get to the next dwarf? Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, usually, so I'm playing unmodded. I'm also playing with the Nagi doll um, font or tile set, which, you know, is very uh, true to the original ASCII, but um, is a little more high def. All right, so who's the other one that has the pick? I need to look at which other one has mining skill. Um, isn't there a next button? Uh, where is there? Ah, inventory. Someone should have a pick. I think if I just set someone else to mine... Uh, they should be able to do that. So who do I want to be the other miner? The stone worker, Olin. So let's view him. Let's... Yeah, no, I want to I want to center on him. Um, go to unit. And profession. And labor. And mining. And now we have two miners, or we should. He should be getting the pick. And yes, going over there to, to do that stuff. Everyone should have hauling on. Uh, I think... Uh, whoops. I think everyone should have hauling on. Ugh. Like, what is it? Uh, you, like, does this woodworker have hauling on? Yes. Everyone should. You have hauling on? Yeah, everyone does. And everyone has some basic stuff set. I should also chop some trees down. We do have a woodcutter. Um, and I might as well chop those trees near where we are putting our entrance. So let's chop some trees. Um, just whatever is close by here, we will chop. And we will use that for our initial building. Cool. So a woodcutter should work on that. Okay, so we have a little bit of... Uh, Oh, these are tree roots in here. So that's still walls. There's just a tree growing above us here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and once this uh, once this area is all mined out, we are going to set it as a stockpile. All our doors will start hauling all that stuff in. And it'll be groovy. Uh, we'll start making some basic stuff out of wood, probably, since we seem to have plenty of it. Uh, I think we probably only start with one axe. I could be wrong about that. I can't really remember. But this is a very heavily forested area, so wood should not be an issue. We should be fairly free to chop as much wood as we want. We could anger the elves uh, if there are elves nearby, but 
I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the elf and we already have a visitor. An elf dancer is visiting. Well, uh, that's interesting. Hold on. So if I look at the, I'm gonna pause it a sec. I'm gonna, I want to look at the world map again. Is there an elf site nearby? Um, site government. So there are a bunch of dwarven. So uh, the little um, omega symbols. We have one here, right? But I think all the dwarven, all the um, omega ones are dwarven sites. Look at this. Uh, the dwarven fortress of Groveboard is not too far away. There's a population of about 400, and they have a lot of artifacts. A ton of artifacts. We could raid that site. Wow. That is super cool. That is super cool. The Dwarven Hillocks of Mirror Fogs. The Dwarven Hillocks of... So we we are in a, like, Dwarven area. Uh, ooh, and there are artifacts here. But not as many. Not as many as uh, this place. We're at peace with all these places. Uh, if it's C... So here's Civilizations. Is that... That's us, right? Wow. Yeah, so there are a lot of different places with Dwarven Lords in them. And there's a queen. Our queen is Logim Abirkubuk. Very cool. Uh, tab changes modes. So there are a bunch of Dwarven... Um, there are a bunch of Dwarven places around. Uh, and up here, what is this? Uh, the Mucus Tower. Inaccessible from our location. Really? The Mucus Tower. So I assume that's some kind of goblin site. Dark Elves. The Dark Elven Pits. Cool. Maybe the Mucus Tower is Dark Elven too. Down here should be Dark Elven. This is all Dark Elves. And are Dark Elves new? I don't remember. I just remember Elves. I don't remember like like drow or anything like that. Yeah, these are dark goblin pits, which is what I remember. They have artifacts too. Super cool. I wonder why this one place is inaccessible. Like, it looks like everything else around us is accessible. And this red one here, the Cracked Hill. This is so cool. And we can we could raid our fellow dwarves. We probably won't do that. But very cool. Very cool. Okay, how are we doing here? Everyone's still working. Um, maybe people could like... Well, you know what? We've started mining this. I guess I'll wait till this whole stockpile is mined out for is uh, mined out first. We have a cat. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till the stockpile is all mined out before I start mining down and before I start like uh, carving out other stuff. Everyone's just chilling. Everyone else is just chilling around here. Uh, what kind of animals do we have? Um, we have two horses, both female, unfortunately. All of our animals are female, so they won't be breeding. And that's just random. The sex of these animals is random. And I think which two animals other than dogs and cats we start with is somewhat random too, as long as they're pack animals. Uh, cool. Very cool. Uh, but they won't be breeding. Which is good in the case of the cats. At least for now. Alright, guys. Hurry up. They'll get their mining skill up pretty quickly. Uh, we could set some areas for fishing. I guess we might as well. So let's... Um, is it P? No, it's not P. P is stockpile. Uh, N? I'm totally going by just like I don't. Re I'm not even looking at the menu. I'm just kind of trying to remember from my memory. Um, is it D? I don't think it's D for to set a uh, a zone. Come on, Graham. Uh, Q is set building task. I I. There we go. We're gonna start a zone here. Uh, just gonna start a little fishing zone right here. And can I expand it? No, no. Remove. Um, let's remove all this. Hold on. I want to... Can I make it oblong? 
Not all, whatever the word is. Uh, can I make it, like, oddly shaped? Um, if I hit shift... I want to expand this zone. Uh, e? What? Oh! Wait, what? E is flow, floor flow, rectangle. Hmm. So you can set zones not just by rectangle. Hold on, let me remove what we have here. Um, and then try to start a zone using flow. But I want the zone part of the river. Uh, what if I do it in the river? That is not working. All right, I'm just going to do rectangle. Wait, what about floor flow? What is that? Nope. Rectangle it is. And I'm going to start like here go like this and this is going to be a fishing activity zone and a water source both um, cool very cool oh no not a new this is not a new whoops that was a mistake I think there is a zone here yeah there is a zone here so now people can fish and get water from there we can do sand collecting and clay collecting at some point soon. All right. Um, so now that that's done, people can definitely, will know to get water from there. Uh, and I think we have a fisher that might do some fishing. If I'm remembering correctly. All right. Awesome. Almost done with this stockpile here. I just don't want it. There's not a good way to expand a zone or stockpile once it's been created. Uh, which is something that would be very nice. Um, but uh, otherwise, you just have to basically destroy it and create a new one. Okay, here we go. So let's create a stockpile here. Uh, we're going to do a custom stockpile because it's going to have pretty much everything in it at first. Uh, boom. Boom. Cool. Oh, and uh, the custom setting. You know what? Um, I should have done the custom settings first. Let's remove the designation. I got to do the custom setting first. So T is going to be uh, animals? Sure. Really everything. Not corpses. Um, not refuse, but everything else for now. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be good. And then we're going to do custom stockpile from here to there. Cool. Now people should start hauling stuff in. And there they go. Now everyone actually has stuff to do, which is great. We can also deconstruct the, uh, the wagon. So let's do that. I think a Q will do that. Remove building. Yep. Cool. Great. So that's pretty much episode one. I know we haven't really done much, but uh, we kind of got used to some of the, you know, we saw the new, um, the new like world mechanic here, which looks awesome. And I'm really excited to be playing with that. Uh, we have a basic idea of the layout of the land uh, and what kind of fortress we're going to have. I think, I think we're just going to dig down. I don't know if we'll do like a spiral staircase or something. I'll try. I'm not the best like designer, but you know, I'd like to do something that looks okay. Um, try to try to be creative. We'll we'll get something in here. Um, we'll start digging down. Uh, we'll start digging out some bedrooms, some workshops, a kitchen, dining room, all that stuff. Um, and we'll start doing that all of that next episode. Um, so this being a new series, if you enjoy this, please remember to share it because uh, I do appreciate that. While I, I don't really do this. Uh, this channel for, you know, I'm not like trying to get as many views as possible or anything like that. I don't make any money off of this channel or anything. I do like growing our community. So uh, sharing is definitely appreciated. Also appreciated is if you like and subscribe and uh, 
for me most importantly is leaving comments. I really like it when you guys leave comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you uh, want to see out of this Let's Play. Uh, what you're excited about. Um, what you think of this game. Uh, I also I have to remember before we stop, actually, maybe I'm going to put another stockpile uh, maybe over here behind the wall. And this is going to be refuse. Right here. Yeah. And actually, if I go back to it, can I go back to it? There we go. Change settings. So that was refuse. I'm also going to add um, corpses to that. Okay. Cool. Um, just just in case, you know, just to have somewhere to throw our trash for the time being. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.